So good day and greetings and welcome to Monday, February the 6th, 2023. Big two stop delivery today and right now I'm at my first stop here in Pulaski, New York. Making it happen. It's a uh, balmy 39 degrees Fahrenheit out, which feels like summer after uh, last Friday and Saturday. Saturday was brutal too. Ah. <sighs> Came in this morning and uh, had to deal with a little uh, unnecessary BS, but uh, it's done and over with. And uh, the bulldog over here has a uh, check engine fault going on, so I'll probably be swapping trucks out by the end of the day, which is uh, nothing new lately, you know. But uh, I'm over the BS from this morning, and uh, I'm going to make the best out of today like I do every day. It's a beautiful morning here in uh, northern central New York. All done with stop number one here in Pulaski, New York. Rolling off the water town. It's a little slick out here. Put it in nice. Anybody want to play King of the Mountain? Asking for a friend. Whew. I'm out here in Watertown, New York. Stop two for the day. Taking a little walk across the parking lot over to Tractor Supply. I have to buy a container of death. So I tried to do this uh, clip outside, but that wind is just whipping really hard and uh, it's messing with the microphone on the camera. So I decided to just uh, take care of that in here. I purchased the DEF, I've got it in the truck. All is good there. Today's actually been a halfway decent day. I mean, I've had better days, but it's still been decent. Right now I'm just sitting here getting unloaded and then uh, I'm sure I'll find out where I'm off to once I'm done here, as always. And uh, I'm already looking forward to the weekend. I do have tomorrow off. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow afternoon. And the way things have been going lately, I figured it was best to take the whole day off instead of trying to get out early, which I could have done. But uh, they've been cutting things kind of close to me lately, and I don't need anything to screw it up. Plus, I don't need to be stressed out for the doctor's appointment. Tomorrow is the day I find out how the uh, last three months of the uh, new diet have been going. I uh, went Saturday and got some blood work done and peed in a cup, which they didn't tell me I had to do that. So I squeezed out just enough to fill the little line on the cup, thankfully. And I'll find out my results tomorrow. So I was instructed to bring the truck over to the Mac dealership over here, which I did for, to get the uh, check engine fault code checked. And once again, with this truck, is an issue with the EGR system, which is the same issue it had the uh, past two times. So, they can't get the truck in here until midweek to take care of the problem. So I'm rolling back to Syracuse, and then we're gonna figure it out once I get back down there. Well, the lights are on. You know what that means. Just got waved through. That's a beautiful thing. Hey, you missed a spot. <laughs> so to make a long story short, short story long, I'm over here at the pilot in Liverpool. I'm gonna top off my death tank while I have a moment. And uh I'll get you caught up to speed in uh, just a second once I'm done here.
Okay, tape rolling and three, two, one, action. All done here at the pilot in Liverpool. I've got my death. It's just under a full tank, which is a lot more than what it had over the past few days. So now, <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember where I was exactly, so I'm just going to do a little refresher here. I was up in Watertown at the Mack dealership. They told me that they couldn't get the truck in until probably about midweek. So I called down to HQ. They told me to bring the truck back down to Syracuse. Call once, yeah, call once I got back to Syracuse. Okay, so I got back to Syracuse, dropped my empty trailer. Called down there, was told to take it over to the uh, Mack dealership in Syracuse and have them scan it again. Okay, so I go over to the Mack dealership in Syracuse, and because the uh, check engine light is not on, it's kind of pointless to hook it up to the uh, computer to, to scan it because it's going to say there's no issues. So the guy at the Mack dealership basically said, drive the truck until the light comes back on, and if it comes back on, leave it on, then we can diagnose it and get the problem fixed. Apparently there's an issue with an EGR valve which has been the problem with this truck. It's been an EGR issue over the past few weeks here. I said, okay. So I called down the HQ, let them know what was going on, and I was told that I was pretty much done for the day. And I asked if I could go over and top off the tank with depth so I don't have to keep buying a jug every day to throw in there. They said, sure, no problem. They gave me the uh, EFS check for the amount. Came over here to the pilot to take care of that. And then while I was on my way over here, I got a phone call from dispatch, and now I'm going back to the yard to hook up, hook back up to the empty trailer that I had, and I'm going to go up to Baldwinsville to pick up a load. Got all that? Sweet. Nice. There's a tear in my beer. <laughs> okay, so here's the situation. I went back to the yard in Syracuse, grabbed the empty trailer I had earlier, dragged it out here to Baldwinsville, New York, sat in line for a little bit, checked in with the pickup number I was given just to find out that the load that I'm supposed to pick up won't be loaded until sometime tomorrow. So I basically uh, just dropped the empty trailer and I'm going to roll back to the yard and call it a day, I believe. So how's your day going? Oh, wait. Three, two, one, action. And just like that, I'm done for the day. Came back to Syracuse, topped off the fuel tanks. Gonna head home and uh, get something to eat and then uh, just kind of hang out and chill for the evening and then tomorrow I am off for the day. So until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Y'all have a good one, eh? I'm out of here. Mm -hmm.